Thank you for tuning in to WDSO. I'm here with Void Class, here with Speck and Jose, right? Jose, yep. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, awesome. Uh, can you first introduce us and tell us about yourself? Speck, you go first. So, my name is Speck, and I'm 38. <laughs> <laughs> I sing in the band. All right. And I'm the newest member of Void Class. Mm-hmm. You're also an ta- amazing tattoo artist. Oh. Uh, that's not about this. It's not oh, okay. about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, my name's Jose. I play guitar, and I've been been rocking since I was like <laughs> two. Nice, nice. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Yeah, I think so. I Is it, so. There's a total of four people, right? And I got mm-hmm. two here now. Yeah, so, two, so yeah. who's those other two? Let's uh, talk about Eric them. Penrod Jones from Griffith, Indiana. Yeah. Okay, he's our drummer. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then we have he's tall. Yeah, he's really tall. He's tall. And then uh, Kurt Franchakis from... He's my best friend. He's from Westville or Yeah, he's from Westville. I think born in Michigan City. I don't know if he... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We're all from the area. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Michigan City, right? Actually, Speck's from Connecticut. Yeah, I'm not from the area. Yeah, but... Oh, okay. She's a transplant. (laughs) Not like Travis Barker or like... (laughs) I don't know if anyone will get that reference. We'll okay, like, too old, too old. <laughs> We'll leave it in. We'll leave it in. But uh, so your your band sound, it's mainly punk, right? That's what I've been told. You're yeah. going to have to take that. Yeah, I that, think that. it's, yeah, it's like garage, garage tinged punk. punk rock. Okay. Did it start? Mad? A little, Angry? Yeah, a little, yeah, a little, well, you know, sign of the times. Mm-hmm. Reflection of the times, <laughs> I guess, you know? Did, did it start like that? Was it like mainly punk from the beginning? Um, Kurt, Eric, and I all formed the band in 2017 okay uh and uh i've known eric for a while and we were jamming around and i recorded his previous band and then um kurt made a suggestion one day after he heard me sing that maybe mm-hmm. we should get another singer <laughs> <laughs> so, uh-huh. and then uh a speck moved to town and then i we kind of heard her sing karaoke a lot in the basement <laughs> nice, nice so she like i was like she should sing for us and it has been going great ever since she's a great front person so mm-hmm. and has a great Thank voice you. <laughs> <laughs> we're fun to watch if anyone ever wants to catch us anytime, so so then when you first started what was your inspiration like um, was it mainly like maybe your like parents were musicians or i think we're all, we've all been music like kurt and i have been playing music for a while and we've always just loved writing music together mm-hmm. so i think well us bouncing ideas off each other and inspiring each other really was like that and like finally we met a good drummer well not finally met a good drummer but we met a drummer that goes had good the with time us. to deal with our ju- yeah with our, <laughs> with our <laughs> mess yeah exactly <laughs> Um, and that was yeah. I mean, I, I mean, my my parents weren't really in like in music at all. But I know Kurt's father was a musician, great guitarist, mm-hmm. great drummer, and Kurt's been playing music since he was a kid. Yeah, I mean, you all you guys have all been in bands since you could yeah. be in a band. Yep, exactly. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's just you know we finally just started kind of taking it more seriously yeah. and like organizing shows and organizing a tour that we're doing in a couple mm-hmm. weeks. Yeah. Oh, to nice. New Orleans and back. Nice. I mean, I'm just I'm just like really angry. So that's okay. where it comes from. For me. All that anger coming up. <laughs> yeah. right, yeah. It specs like a natural, like a natural front person. I think <laughs> you are. You're like yeah. You, I feel like she she should, oh, should have always been like a front person in a band or. <laughs> that's nice. So then uh, the name Void Class, one word, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's, that's an interesting name, a good name. But where, where did it come from? Uh, uh, actually, Eric Jones. Came up with it. Our drummer. Yeah. Yeah, He's your drummer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, I'm not, I don't know where he came from. My, my, my tag on uh, Instagram is Jose Void. Okay. And I think maybe he kind of borrowed that maybe or something. I don't know. But yeah, he Eric came up with the name. Eric, uh, okay. And he has, he's a very clever guy. Mm. It's, so. it's kind of like a blanket term for people who don't fit in. Yeah, yeah. And like um, like we are the Void class. Like there's like a class of people that like kind of get, got <laughs> voided see. out. Yeah, like you know a void I mean? of like... Just yeah. a class, yeah. yeah I, a, I see yeah. what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. So. I don't know if they'll they'll get it, but I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you said you started your band in 2017. Yeah. All right. And uh, what brought these band members together, like all those years ago? You said it was just ripping, um, riffing off just, each other. Uh, yeah. Just uh, I think just from the scene, uh, like the punk scene or like garage punk scene or whatever. But Eric or is in a band called Evil Waves, mm-hmm. and so I would always like like their band. I recorded them, and uh, we just 
got together that way, you know. And we used to live. Me, Kurt, and Jose used to live together as well mm-hmm. at a house called the Creep Hole in Michigan City. And we'd have bands play from all over the country, and so we had some bands come from France and junk. Yep. Uh, but we were all just like really good friends. Mm-hmm. We enjoy each other's company. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> so then it was. Guitar and vocals, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. So were you in choir in school? Like, how'd Absolutely you... not. No, no okay. I've never done anything like this before. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so how'd you, how'd you get into singing? Um, we have a karaoke room in our basement. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, I see. I see. I, uh, I never really, like, did anything like that. I never really did karaoke until... Kurt, really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I tried it, but I was always really nervous. Yeah. But I moved... Kurt and I moved in together, and we have, like, a really cool karaoke setup, and mm-hmm. we um, sing all night down there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, he was like, you should try. And I did. Try singing for the band. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I should try harder. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, she really belts them out, especially in karaoke. She, She's great. <laughs> Karaoke's yes, fun. Yeah, yeah it is uh, you fun. get into it. You get into yeah. it. So then you play guitar, right? Yeah, play was that gu- the only thing? Did you play bass or like harmonica, um, maybe? No, I mean, I play bass and I play drums and keyboards and stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm a, a, like a songwriter. I write acoustic stuff also. And um, Loomer 69 on Bandcamp, Void Class on Bandcamp. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, I've always my whole, well, since I was like, 10, 11, around there, I picked up a guitar and okay. I put it down since. So your guitar so. was like your first instrument, yeah. kind of? Mm-hmm. Okay. For sure. And then you weren't in like band or like... Um, actually, I was in choir. You were in choir. Uh, so I always enjoyed music. Wow. And I was in I, <laughs> I was in choir, yeah, all oh. four years. And then uh, I did something called exploratory music oh. in like in high school, which is kind of like the misfits, like, you know, like, yeah. okay. it was weird. So uh, we got to, we learned like the recorder and nice. like, the bongos. <laughs> 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 Which is weird stuff, but it actually, I know, it opened my brain up to like being experimental with sound and music. So nice. I don't know. Yeah, I yeah, that's that. Nice. Yeah. So you you said that I, I I don't know if this is true, but you mentioned a past band. Was uh, there like yeah. an evolution into this one into uh, Void Class. Yeah, uh, Kurt and I were in a band called uh, Rumors with our friend Doyle Martin, who's in Cloakroom now. With um, yeah, we've all just had projects like that evolve into like the other you know what i mean so yeah, it's yeah. been like a continuous evolution yeah there's probably like 20 bands <laughs> between the three of them yeah, okay. yeah. okay or projects and yeah, yeah yeah maybe more than that over yeah. the years yeah. all, all punk then mainly punk well i mean some of it's like post-punk then there's hardcore and then there's metal and stuff like yeah. that right? Mm-hmm. Yep. right yep 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 kind of like yep. subclasses yeah of like different genre. genres okay of, yeah oh yeah different genres of punk or yeah. what's like the most interesting would you say like do you do, like dive into edm like what's the most Ooh. not void class oh so sometimes in the basement him and i hang out mm-hmm. and we play with this thing I have called Chaos Pad and he plays oh guitar and hooks it up to a bunch of different pedals and oh, we just yeah. kind of pretend we're like in an early 80s dark wave yeah exactly nice. from it's, Berlin or yeah. Paris <laughs> we're or like uh, we're, we're like chipping away at like the the statue a little bit like we're like forming like future sounds I think yeah. when we do that when her and I experiment that way I think that's like techno stuff yeah mm-hmm. we're prepping ourselves for I think <laughs> what will come eventually like in Void Class like I eventually wouldn't mind doing electro- electronic punk stuff eventually yeah. Mm-hmm. so yeah it's still growing you know yeah growing sound yeah nice no, so that's that's a pedal board then Where'd yeah it's like a little chaos there? pad it's oh little... yeah what i have it's like its uh-huh. own little it's like its own thing like a stand you just press buttons it's got a screen and you can like move oh. your finger all around and <laughs> make a bunch of beep boops <laughs> <laughs> sounds cool Weird so sounds. what's the name of your latest release and uh and, like where can they these people find it oh okay it's, know- <laughs> it's it's on, it's on spotify we're on spotify okay it's called heck hammer yeah, <laughs> which is kind of like a play on the on you the. You just named it without asking, <laughs> which is fine, I guess. I guess we'll just deal with that. <laughs> no, it's oh, cool. no. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's a play on um, it's a play on the band Hellhammer. They're like a black metal band, mm-hmm. but uh, I thought it'd be cheeky to say Heckhammer mm-hmm. <laughs> instead. Uh, yeah, it's on Spotify, and yep. what we have Bandcamp. Yeah, we have Bandcamp also. Nice. Just look up Void Class, one word. So that was your most recent, right? <laughs> yeah, it's the most recent. Yeah. Week. Okay. And, uh, after tour, we're gonna come back and we're gonna hit the studio and uh, hopefully do like a full release. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like in 
end of May. June? Yeah, June, early June. Something like that? It might, might be Before released. Before summer, yeah. yeah. It'll be released hopefully by fall. So is that like, a, that was an LP? Or was that like a uh, the single? The EP... Uh, we have tapes of yeah, it now, yeah. like physical things. It's on tapes. Yeah, it's, we yeah. haven't pressed anything to vinyl or or anything like or, or anything yeah, like that because yeah. we didn't know anyone yeah. <laughs> would <laughs> want to buy it. Yeah. But, but we're selling tapes. Yeah, yeah we're selling tapes. but we sell all our tapes yeah. that he made in his room. I, I dub them. Yeah, hand, hand dubbed. Yeah, hand numbered. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, it's it's on tapes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, check out Bandcamp and uh, Spotify. Nice, nice. Voice class, so yeah. So then, like, your music you make. So, like, what's the, uh, well, I guess, what's the process? Oh, geez. How does it start? Um, okay, usually I come up with, like, a, a riff, and then I bring it to practice, and usually Eric will tell me if it's boring or not. <laughs> <laughs> He's salty about, he said that once, he's still salty. <laughs> and if it's not boring, and then Spec usually come, uh, I'll write, I'll write something there, Eric comes up with the beat, and Kurt, like, Daily Dallas for a couple of weeks and then <laughs> no, we'll come up with something no, awesome. He, he, yeah, no, right, it's right away. Yeah, it's it's I'll, like a I don't know. It's a balance. It's yeah, balance. It is. It really is. And then spec. It takes me a couple of weeks. Yeah, exactly. To write yeah. song like lyrics. Once once something comes once once we write something and it comes natural for spec to like sing to it, I think we like stick to that because mm-hmm. she kind of like melds it together. You know what I mean? It's, she's yeah. A, so it's usually just starts with rhythm, guitar, and then mm-hmm. rhythm and, section, and then. Later on, maybe I'll do a lead or two or something. But and then once she puts the vocals on it, we kind of follow that. Mm-hmm. So, and then so our vocals are is that like um, what's the word pre written or is that more of just like so? So there's like two ways I kind of do it. Like I write a lot of poetry because I'm angry <laughs> and emo, <laughs> but I don't show anyone. Of course. But so so like sometimes I'll hear. If they're jamming out a new song, I'll hear a melody right away, and then I'll like look through my lyrics and see if they relate to that melody. Mm-hmm. Or sometimes I come up with it right in the in the moment. Nice. Okay. But mm-hmm. but I'd say the majority of the new songs we've written, they they come in the moment. Yeah, she usually like is very patient with us while we write, and st- is in the room with us while we're writing, mm-hmm. and. Uh, yeah, so she kind of cooks on it a little bit. But some yeah. of the some of our songs, he has, he's written all the lyrics. But you know, like we said, when I first when I first joined the band, he showed me all the lyrics for the existing songs, and we kind of sat together and wrote them so we could both relate to the yep. lyrics. Yep. Yeah, you know, which was awesome. That was a, a lot of fun. A lot, like one of our songs, "Mundo Total," yep. was in all Spanish. Mm-hmm. Which, if I could speak Spanish, I'd keep it that way, <laughs> but I can't. <laughs> um, so, so you know, we Jose puts a lot of cool like Spanish verses and stuff in there too. So yeah, we uh, that song's really interesting, Mundo Total, because it's yeah, like she said, it's it's in Spanish, mm-hmm. but she went through and like almost like translated it with yeah, me. <laughs> she, she did. Well, I mean, you know, it's the song has a lot to do with like uh, body. Image and like how you feel about your body. Yeah, like dysmorphia and, and yeah, stuff. Like, yeah, so yeah. I don't know. I think everyone kind of deals with that. And mm. she wrote awesome lyrics that relate to that, that are similar to like my Spanish lyrics. And it was a really cool process. Mm. And <laughs> would you say that the highlight then is that like riffing off each other and just like absolutely, oh, totally. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I couldn't do it with, without them, nor would I want to. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> it's too early. Uh, yeah, it's too early. <laughs> so you said you had a tour coming up, right? Yep. Okay. So other than that, what are like some of the bigger goals that your band wants to meet? Oh wow. Tra- I want to travel with my friends mm-hmm. and I yeah. want to like share the music that we've written together. I think that's like we just do it for fun. Like we all have day jobs and you know, yeah. but we do this for fun as a hobby and hopefully it'd be nice to do it full time and make some more money out of it or do something with it where you know <laughs> i don't know i really yeah. like meeting other bands that's really yeah that's a really fun part mm-hmm. of it um travel travel yeah mm-hmm. and just meeting people and um i don't know being a girl in this isn't you know isn't unique there's tons of women in this but uh we sometimes play a lot of like family friendly venues so there's a lot of young girls and a lot of young kids there and they they usually come up to me a lot and say cool stuff to me (laughs) and that's like a really big part the really big thing i look forward to when we play shows is like empowering young 
women or, or young children or young people. Exactly. Mm-hmm. She's really That's good. Really She's cool really part. good at that. Mm-hmm. Really cool part of it. So you're saying travel, so like out of country or like Tennessee or eventually. <laughs> well, we are we are playing two shows in Tennessee. All right, right? awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe we'll... Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Mexico, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, oh, anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Anywhere anyway. they'll have us. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Yeah, we're gonna go. To, uh, we're gonna be in Nashville. We're going to Indy, Nashville, Memphis, uh, uh, New Orleans for a couple of days. Uh, Austin, Dallas and Austin. Dallas and Austin. Yeah. So, and then we're gonna make our way back up. And these tours are they? They're posted. I uh, presume at a website. Yeah, we we uh, we had like a tour flyer. Uh, <laughs> controversy oh. so it took us a while to post our date but they're on our instagram now which okay. is just void class nwi yeah. is our instagram yeah. at void class nwi all right uh do you think there's anything you learned uh that's uh been about yourself in this process of making music absolutely yeah i i learned that i like do not i truly don't care what anyone else thinks <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> uh I, I learned uh that when I'm with them, I feel pretty much invin- invincible. Mm-hmm. Um, it's very self empowering. Yeah, yeah, it's it's. I don't know. It's yeah. We I think we're all we all each have our unique vision, and we all bring that to the table. Yeah. And I think like we reassure each other sometimes. Yeah, mm-hmm. like I need, I learned I need this. Mm-hmm. I never had it in my life before, but now like, if I don't have it. It feels really weird. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I need this. Now. I, I get that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that Indiana has at all influenced you with Chicago being close and just like, just the gen- general culture of it all? Um, I'd say so. I'm a little bit. I mean, I don't know. That's. Uh, what do you mean? By, what, I guess I don't well, really know what you mean. Like, just like, like the scene or like just being here? Yeah, I guess mm-hmm. like your experiences in like specifically, I guess, Indiana, like. Mm-hmm. With Chicago being so close. Well, I, I lived there for 12 years and just recently moved back, mm-hmm. uh, like two years ago or something like that. I really like small town mentality. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think there's a, there's a certain pushback. There's a certain rebel that comes out when you're in, like, in a small town that you like want to like be a counter to like a lot of things yeah. you see as freaky as you can yeah. be because mm-hmm. there's there's the complete opposite of that just around the corner mm-hmm. and the next door, I think you know if you're in a bigger city there's more people alike or like to have are like you so which is great and there's nice subculture is there yeah the subculture and so we're a place like Chesterton or you yeah. know Michigan's Indiana or yeah whatever, yeah, yeah the, the the subculture groups are like more tightly knit because you, you gotta stick to together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. And we stick out more. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's an, I, so, that's yeah, a good I think answer to push. Yeah, to push that. Yeah, definitely. Um, so recently, um, other than uh, Void Class, what, what have you guys been listening to? Mm. Oh shoot! Right now, I can't stop listening to of Montreal. Of oh, Montreal is and awesome. Bully. Bully. Nice. Yeah, and uh, uh, Third Eye Blind. <laughs> She just saw third. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I can't. Th- I, there's a there's a cool band. Ceremony. Oh, ceremony. Kiss jeans. Oh, Oops, yeah. Can I say that? <laughs> if not, we'll just cut it out. I'm not sure. Actually, <laughs> she just went to go see High Viz. Oh, High Viz, they're awesome. High Viz is awesome. From and England then, uh, or something. There's a band called Cola. That's really cool. That Cola. Yeah. yeah, I'm a big uh, I'm a big uh, Brian Eno fan, mm-hmm. and I like uh, Velvet Underground a lot. Yeah, I mean, I'm all over the place. I like Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick mm. Lamar's lyricism is like genius. And a lot of the times when I write, I look at hip hop just yeah. for like their cadence and like the rhythm and the way they sing mm-hmm. and uh, the timing of their mm-hmm. lyrics and stuff. So I love hip hop. And Kendrick Lamar is awesome. So would you say that like other than the punk genre, you look towards hip hop mainly? Oh, most definitely, yeah. Most definitely. Uh, for like lyrics and like uh, just the way lyrics are placed. To rhythm mm-hmm. is very awesome, and it it um, I think it translates well to like punk or like rock. Yeah, obviously you know it's uh, part of rhythm and blues and stuff. So Definitely. yeah, yeah, that's that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Has there anybody uh, that you can think of that has been extremely supportive to you across this musical career that you oh. can kind of think of? Of course, Kyle other than no. each other. Kyle no, my mom. Our yeah, moms, mommy. Our moms are very supportive. My mommy, mm-hmm. my mommy bought my first guitar. Aww. Well, my first real guitar, she bought it for me. So yeah, my mo- our parents, I think, have all been really supportive. Yeah, like, throughout parents. Our lives, yeah. 
and Kyle Knoll. Yeah, listen to your parents, kids. And uh, listen to your moms. <laughs> and uh, the the so Eric, our drummer, is also in a, in the band Evil Waves. We're going on tour with them. So the other dudes, Stephen and Dana, in Evil Waves, have been very supportive as yep. well. Absolutely. Um, I don't know. Um, I mean, there's tons of people. Yeah. They're mm-hmm. like. <laughs> Doyle's always been really supportive. Yeah, Doyle and the, yeah. Carolyn. Yeah. And, yeah. They've all been really supportive. We, we, this, like she said, like it's a tiny group, and I think we all push each other and have always supported each other's like ideas and mm-hmm. listen. Like I'll send MP3s to friends and like they, you know, MP3s. Write back. <laughs> 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 I send files to friends, you know, like voice mm. memos, and like they yeah. listen to it and like, give me feedback and stuff. So small, small town mentality, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah awesome. Just like, yeah, we're all tight knit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to drag <laughs> That's you. That'd be, that'd be <laughs> I totally just said that like a older millennial <laughs> MP3. Where is this? We talking with Matt Pinfield here? Or <laughs> we gotta, check us out on Soul Seek. <laughs> yeah, we'll be on um, 120 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Yeah. Yeah. So do you That's have a cool. favorite uh, song off your guys' album? Yeah. And if so, um, could you maybe talk about that song? On Heckhammer, my favorite's Poor Senses. I don't think Poor Senses is on there, is it? It is. You just looked it up. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Uh, I thought you just saw it. Uh, Anyways, I like that song. No, yeah, there's mm-hmm. a song called Poor Senses that she could. Yeah, I like it. She could. Yeah. <laughs> I, like I think it's at our band camp, maybe. Maybe it's the old version. Because there's uh, on band camp, there's versions of our old stuff that I sing. And then there's... Stuff we recorded with her on vocals. But yeah, Poor Sense is, is probably her favorite. And I think I like the song we wrote called MTZ. Mm-hmm. Um, we wrote that before Speck was in the band. And then we have a new one called uh, Back Roads. Yeah, we have a, two new songs, uh, Back Roads and Board of Tourism. Yep. Those, those, are, be, those are rippers. Yeah, those are ones that we've like actually like that. written like all together. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. they'll be coming out. This fall, hopefully, we'll record yeah. them, and they're they're bangers. Those We're really are proud rippers. of them. Rippers, yeah. Rippers. Are they more, more like I don't want to say like emotional, but like more? What's the um, word I'm looking for? Like I don't really. I think know. It's like uh, it's more um, creatively cohesive. Like we all okay. wrote it together. Yeah, like You're planned. Gonna, yeah, structured. I think, yeah, yeah. Just like this fact that we all like, she wrote lyrics to that like in the room as we're writing yeah. it is. And both those songs came really quick. Yep. Exactly. Yep. We we didn't like dwell on them for a long mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. period of time. Mm-hmm. We we're like one practice. We we're like that's it. Yep. And then we kind of added touches here and there over the next couple of weeks. But those kind of just they came, came really quickly. Yeah, it yeah. came right to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you could choose from like anybody in the world, a five piece band, who would you choose? Five piece. Wait, like like a like an all star band? Like, yeah, yeah, like <laughs> oh! like a dream team kind of. Wow. Uh, I would pick Brian Eno, my daughter. Nice. Celeste. Yes. Speck. No! <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, maybe like uh, Lou Reed. That would be a really wild band. Man. <laughs> that would be crazy. I don't know. <laughs> We'd just be like... <laughs> uh, and, th- and then also really sad. Yeah. Who would you pick? Speck okay. Maybe, oh, Madonna maybe. I would play Ooh, Mad- Ooh, Madonna. Yeah. Um, That's a good one. That's a good let's one. see. I like... Uh, I don't know. You're gonna pick. You're gonna pick all all babes. All, all <laughs> yeah. You're gonna pick you all like, hunks. Uh, just the the current lineup of of Hole, or the 1994 lineup of Hole. <laughs> the perfect mega band is just Hole. Yeah. No. Ah, oh, shoot. I don't know. Um, that's like a question I need to sit down with a cup of coffee and like yeah, think, think about for a while. But <laughs> yeah. I like Sorry. I like Courtney Love and um, What's like. Uh, PJ Harvey and uh, that sounds really angsty. Yeah, <laughs> which is good. Yeah. Gwen Stefani was cool in like 1995. You're, like, Bef- you're bringing together like a super um, <laughs> group. That's awesome. Uh, oh, the what's her name? Um, the bassist from Krang Krangbing Krangbin. Oh, I don't Lisa? know. Lisa is her name. Lisa. Oh, yeah. she's so good. She's so, she makes it look like it doesn't even matter. Joan Jet. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's enough for me, I guess. <laughs> no. uh, <yeah>. Stupid. <laughs> All right. Yeah, just bad bad babes nice. would be good. Okay. Christine McVie, RIP. Ooh. Yeah. All right. I got one more question. This was because uh, the person who was supposed to interview you is not here. He cannot see orange. Okay. So he wanted the hard hitter I told you in the beginning before we started recording. Uh-oh. But it was... Describe the color orange to me as if I were a blind man. 
Juicy. Ooh, I was going to say citrusy. Juicy, uh, uh, bright, oh, yeah. warm. Warm. Fun. Warm and fun, yep. Because red is bright and warm, but it's not that it's not that fun. Yeah, well, orange is fun. Well, I mean, how do you feel about that question? Are you, are you? Uh, yeah, what would what would uh, you say? Orange, orange, you happy that? that you asked? <laughs> 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 All right. I, I, I was trying to fit that in. Yeah, no, I, I love it. Worked, yeah, it worked. <laughs> Juicy. Juicy. All right. So kind of like staticky. Like kind of like yellow. Ooh. I don't know. Static. Static. I don't know. Fuzzy. Maybe fuzzy. Yeah, fu- okay. Fuzzy. Yeah. Fuzzy. Like the. Yeah. Yeah. I thought fuzzy juicy was static-y. good. Yeah. Juicy was good. Pulp. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm thinking like orange yeah, pulp. juice pulp. <laughs> well, yeah. I think it's important to talk about juice. Yeah. If you're yeah. going to talk about orange. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're right. You know? Uh-huh. Goes hand in hand. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to wrap up this interview. But before we go, uh, could you remind us of your name again, uh, the name of your latest album, and where we can find it? Uh, we're Void Class, No Space. Uh, the album is called Heck Hammer, and it's on Spotify and Bandcamp. All right, Literally. and there's some stuff on YouTube also if you oh, type yeah. in Void Class. Some live videos. Yeah. And uh, any uh, upcoming shows, anything else you want to tell us about? Plug? Uh, so we're going on tour on May 11th. Mm-hmm. Our first uh, date on that tour is uh, May 11th at State Street Pub with Eva Waves and uh, Cairo Jag. Cairo Jag. Who, who are awesome. They're yeah, really they're awesome. so good. They're playing mm-hmm. uh, Back Alley Ballyhoo. Ooh. Back Alley Ballyhoo. <laughs> <laughs> the radio voice. <laughs> um, well, uh, also, I think, are we playing... This summer in, in the area, I think we might be playing the uh, Pavilion in Michigan City. Oh yeah, we'll probably do the beach show There's again. A, yeah, hopefully. Michigan City hopefully. beach show. That I think is in what July maybe or. I don't know, but yeah, I'm stay tuned. Uh, there's also, yeah, just stay tuned to our, um, stay tuned <laughs> <laughs> to our uh, Instagram. Follow us on Instagram. Okay. Void Class N W I. All right. So we're gonna play a track from from Heck Hammer. Can you tell us about this song? M T Z. MTZ. Uh, uh, this song was written pre-spec, but then she killed it on vocals. So. What if I'm not on this recording? You are. Okay. It's on. It's the one on Spotify, oh. right? Yeah, it's the one on Spotify. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, MTZ. It's fun. Yeah, it's really fun. All right, let's hear it. <laughs> I'm not